For the glory of God and the honour of Ireland. Feonil Raveloid Vedica, August Nenir Nochantaha. My name is Eamon O'Keeve and I've been a member of the Irish Parliament, which would be the equivalent of the House of Congress here, uh, since 1989. And I'm still a member of the Irish Parliament. I've also served in Irish governments. But I'm also the grandson of Eamon de Valera. And that's the connection with Butte. Now, Eamon de Valera was involved in the 1916 Rising and was elected President of the New Republic of Ireland in 1919. Now, this Republic was not recognised by the British and he came here to America looking for recognition for the Irish Republic and also looking to collect funds to run this Republic because they couldn't raise any taxes. And he travelled right across America from the East Coast to the West Coast and from the North here right down as far as Alabama and down as far as New Orleans. But one of the most important visits he, play, he made was to Butte, Montana, where there was a huge Irish population that had come here as part of the mining effort. Uh, a lot of people, particularly from Cork and Kerry, uh, and he got a tremendous reception here. He came to Butte twice during that period of 1919-1920. Now, he had a very long life in politics. He got involved in politics in 1917, and he eventually left politics as President of Ireland in 1973. And for him, this journey of coming to America seeking recognition for the new republic that had no official recognition worldwide at that time. But amazingly, he came back on a state visit as president of Ireland in 1964. And he had the great honour of addressing the giant houses of Congress, where he thanked the American people for all they had done for Ireland during that period. It's because of you. It's because of the accumulated impact of generations of Irish people and their ancestors who have made such an so We're here today for the unveiling of a, of a plaque here in Butte, Montana, um, remembering all the Irish uh, who are here in the graves here and the enormous contribution of Irish America uh, to, to Ireland. <laughs> for me, it's obviously very nostalgic to be here, to be welcomed by the Irish community here, to unveil a plaque to, to Robert Emmett, the great iconic hero of 1803, uh, and to be following my grandfather's footsteps. Uh, I'm a modern politician dealing with modern issues, but there's a great sense of history today. And when you stand back and look at somebody coming through here in uh, 1919, looking for recognition, and then I realise that over the years I've been coming to America so often and that recognition of Ireland as an independent free nation is so much taken for granted and we owe so much to the American people for, for having achieved that.